special edition of Weatherscope with the latest winter storm update. You are tuned to the Weather Channel. We're covering the blizzard of 1996 in the Northeast and even parts of the South. Some incredible amounts of snow out of one storm, and it's not the first storm yet this season, so this season is turning out to be a doozy. Let's take a look at some video now. We'll show you how it's been looking around New York City. New York this morning coming in in Central Park as the frozen apple, even the statues shivering, folks getting around on cross-country skis on some of the trails and even the roads in Central Park and even some of the streets like Central Park West, folks cross country skiing because the cars are just not dealing with this one foot plus of snow in Central Park. Chatham, Massachusetts, wind, snow, turbulent surf, some of the elements that the storm brought to coastal New England. Tides were running two to two and a half feet above normal. Visibility also a problem on Cape Cod as in many areas in New England, New York State, the Middle Atlantic Coast, the mountains. This has truly been a memorable storm. Let's take a look at some of the totals right now as we look at the map and we'll see the snow history. And we had to come up with a new designation, a new color on this chart today. The bright whites are a foot of snow now from around Boston all the way down through the Appalachians and uh, even into northeast Georgia. We had a foot at Sky Valley Ski Resort, but two feet plus from the mountains of North Carolina, three feet plus in West Virginia. We're seeing Pocahontas County now coming in with over 40 inches, 40 inches in Southwest Virginia at High Knob. So any skiing in the Appalachians or the Middle Atlantic region, Southern New England, is certainly uh, quite amazing. Some of the individual totals we can see, Elizabeth, New Jersey, this will be a claim to fame, 32 inches of new snow. Philadelphia, all-time record for that town, 30. Newark now with over 27 inches is the biggest storm you have ever had, bigger than 1947. Dulles with 25. Uh, Roanoke and New York up in the 20s. That's LaGuardia Airport. Not a record for New York City, though. And even Boston coming in with a solid foot. Now, 24-hour snowfall records have been broken at Philadelphia, Roanoke, Lynchburg, Cincinnati, 12.8. That's as much as you've ever had. And Dulles is... Dulles Airport near Washington with 19 and a half inches of snow. That was a 24-hour record, too. Now, we've had some delays. We've had a really uh, terrible time of getting around. Take a look at this. This is something you can put on videotape in your home. You don't see this often. All the major airports in the Northeast have been closed down and tremendous delays coming in from other parts of the country that have to connect with and deal with those airports. So it's been just a terrible situation as far as rooting airplanes around and making any kinds of connections. Let's take a look at a satellite photograph right now and you can see a lot of motion, a very dynamic satellite picture. All that bright color off the Atlantic coast is on top of rain that's falling heavily east of New England. Low pressure system in between that and a blue area. Now that blue area over a lot of southern Maine and Massachusetts down through the middle Atlantic is snow. That's still falling. Those blue designations are high cold cloud tops and there. You could see underneath it on our designation, our weather map, we show snow from the southern tip of Maine through a lot of Massachusetts on into New Jersey and even a little bit of uh, rain just offshore along with freezing rain, but our low pressure system is really reluctant to move offshore. It just doesn't want to leave. On radar you could see the clear area meaning no precipitation. Most of New York State, Binghamton never got anything. Pittsburgh uh, got about a foot or less in western Pennsylvania, but it's rapidly shrinking now and moving to the coastline. So the end is in sight already around New York and Baltimore, already in D.C. It's over, but Boston is going to have to deal with some more snow for a little while, and Hartford and probably Providence, that snow is probably going to leave last in eastern New England, eastern Massachusetts, Cape Cod. New York City, the snow is thinning out a little bit, but it's still kind of thick on radar and coming down, really accumulating east of about Providence and Worcester, Mass., east, even east of Hartford. But Philadelphia, another burst of some snow, maybe another few tenths of an inch in Philly. But things are finally beginning to retire offshore. As you can see, Richmond and Charlottesville and Washington looking very favorable right now. Now, the future forecast for more snow looks something like this. We can see up to six inches, maybe even more in eastern Mass and possibly southern New England. If another blast comes in, the snow still coming down hot and heavy around Boston. And to the west, you can see another area of snow in the northern lakes with a small clipper type system sweeping through the lakes in the next 24 hours. Still, to this time, coastal flood warnings in eastern Massachusetts will probably see these dropped 
by late afternoon, but marine warnings for storm conditions. 55, 60 mile an hour wind gusts still on the middle Atlantic coast on into New England as our blizzard 96 slowly moves on off the coast, but not fast enough for some folks around Boston and southern New England in general. Still a few more inches on tap for those areas. So you, we'll keep you posted on this storm and on other possibilities coming eastward during the week. And we go back to the studio right now. All right, thank you, Mike. Watching Florida very carefully tonight, Tampa, Orlando may see a freeze. This could be some of the coldest air we've had down here in over six years' time. Look at the 20s, well on down, well down the Florida Peninsula, and some 30s, mid-30s to near 40 in the Miami area. Next couple of days, Wednesday and Thursday, Florida moderates. Most areas, though, still plenty chilly with that snowpack holding that chill in the air back over the eastern states. Dallas, not too bad, though, by Saturday. Watch the snow showers in the east on Wednesday. Watch the next system. This is going to pack a little more vim and vigor than we had thought yesterday, and it looks like it's going to track a little farther south, so Atlanta and Charlotte be on your guard late Thursday and Friday. Then, once you know it, it heads up the coast by Saturday. Real golden honey makes every O oh so honey not good. Your overcoat when the wind is free. Take good care of yourself. You belong to me. Bad colds need the ultimate care of Kleenex Ultra tissues. Only Ultra has an extra layer for extra softness and strength to hold every blow and feel softest on your nose. Take good care of yourself. Take care with the ultimate cold care. You belong to me. Kleenex Ultra. your local forecast. Accurate, convenient, and dependable. Only on the Weather Channel.
get more out of your cookie jar? Well, for about what you'd pay for one package of the leading cookie, you could get two boxes of America's number one snack cake, Little Debbie. Unwrap a smile today. Kate, I thought you were home with a bad cold. Oh, but now I feel better. Did you take Sudafed for your stuffy nose, Chlortrimeton for sneezing? I only took Comtrex. Extra strength Tylenol for headache, Robitussin maximum strength for your cough? For a cold, why take all these when Comtrex does it all? How do you spend your week? Monday, it's back to work. Tuesday, you're getting in the swing of things. Wednesday is a carbon copy of Tuesday. By Thursday, you're anticipating the weekend. And when Friday comes along, it's every man for himself. Watch the weekend outlook only on the Weather Channel to find out what the temperatures will be and if there's a possibility of rain. So, for the weekend warrior, we offer the weekend outlook only on the Weather Channel. Eastern area is having a banner year, including Mount Snow and Shawnee Mountain in PA. And by the way, some of the areas in southern New York and New Jersey and Connecticut and PA may be shut today because of the fact that is, uh, it's sort of illegal to be out there on the road. But we'll tell you more about that as we get the information in. Stratton in good shape, Seven Springs, two and a half new feet, and Loon Mountain in good shape too. A lot of the snow bypass the White Mountains, but that was kind of a, an ironic move as you've had all that snow this winter. Snowfall today, maybe Blue Hills down to about the Vernon Valley area. Another big system to the east by Friday. Amaze an amazing mouth? Why not start with Long John Silver's Flaky Fish? The batter dip twist no mouth can resist. Pick up our crunchy golden shrimp or tender all white chicken. Famous batter dip fish, chicken, and shrimp. Three delicious ways to amaze your mouth. Only at Long John Silver's. Oh, yes. It's the amazing 25 cent shrimp sale. Golden batter dipped shrimp, now just a quarter each, no limit. Long John Silver's, America's place to go for amazing shrimp and fish. Working toward the weekend? Watch the weekend outlook to find out what the temperatures will be and if there's a chance of rain. Only on the Weather Channel. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1 900 Weather and connect. Chevrolet rates their dealerships based on customer satisfaction. Though many dealers may rate well, there can only be one dealership with the highest customer satisfaction index. That dealership is Governors in Wolcott. Governor received the highest customer satisfaction rating in the Rochester, Syracuse area for three years running. We're very proud of this achievement. We're very proud of our staff. And we'd be proud to have you consider us for your next automobile purchase. Governors in Wolcott. It's just the way we do business. Phelps Cement Products remind you the hearth has always been the heart of the home. But today, energy costs, fuel availability, and air quality have made fireplace and stove heating even more important. That's why Phelps Cement Products offers full product lines in all five fuel types. Your lifestyle will be your choice. See a demonstration of name brand fireplace and stove manufacturers at Phelps Cement Products.
watching the Weather Channel. Accurate and dependable forecasts you can always turn to. And when you're away from your television, the Weather Channel forecast is also available from the following. All right, let's check out that forecast for you. By the way, we'll extend this out, kind of extrapolate out for the five days coming up. And once again, for now, we'll enjoy the relative tranquility. It is a pretty good day, albeit a chilly start in the Dallas area. We are warming nicely in Kansas City as well as Omaha. Enjoy the warmer air rushing in. It looks like it's going to be met by a brick wall, though. I think that warm air is going to get kind of shunted off right about in here as that snow cover is going to greatly modify that warm air as it comes on east. Low pressure coming in Oregon and California. This system is going to be a major player to get into Thursday and Friday back in the Ohio Valley and the east. Looks like one more time another pretty heavy band of snow may likely fall in some areas. We're not sure about that one now. But we'll have to watch the southeast especially. Heavier snows in the Cascades, some of the mountain areas, and also Boston to the Cape. Hopefully that'll be it by midnight tonight. Then again, it looks like a cold night in Florida tonight. Tampa and Orlando may have as cold a night as you've had in six years. When you're in pain, you don't want to just ease the pain or lessen the pain. You want to stop the pain. That's why I use Motrin IB. Motrin IB. The pain stops here. <laughs> time to dissolve, so she'll rush relief with the effervescent power of Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine. It's ready the moment you take it. Rushing powerful medicines to soothe your aches, relieve your runny nose, free your breathing. Okay, now, today I'd like to talk to you. Nothing rushes relief like Alka-Seltzer Plus. Or rush relief with new great-tasting orange-flavored Alka-Seltzer Plus. What are you planning to do for the weekend? Go to the park. Beach volleyball. I do my flowers. Jogging. Play basketball. Bicycle. I fish, yeah. Before you plan, watch the weekend outlook. If you're planning something, you can, you can, you can find out what to expect. It's good to know if my weekend's going to be indoors or outdoors. Watch the weekend outlook only on the Weather Channel. All right, check out our five-day forecast. Again, we can't emphasize enough, enjoy the quietness. St. Louis, Louisville, Nashville. I know it's cold out there today, but thankfully the sun is out in most cases. But down the road of peace, this low will have to be reckoned with, the low coming into California later on tonight into the daytime on Tuesday. Actually, we have good news back in Boston and New York. Our winds, which are now to the northeast, will start backing more to the north and then eventually northwest, and hopefully you'll have a little window of drier air coming up during the early part of the day, Tuesday. But then it looks like another push of cold air coming in, and as it does, it's going to be preceded by a band of snowfall. Albany and Binghamton, New York, may actually have more snow with a cold front than you had for the entire storm. Now around Boston and New York and Philadelphia, that will not be the case, thankfully. We may see some snow, just a reinforcing shot of cold air, and the fact that that cold air's foundation is getting laid pretty much in conjunction with the snow cover is going to be a big issue come Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as that low, which is now moving into eastern Oregon, begins to drop on down. Southland, not too bad off today. Even better tomorrow in Dallas. And Atlanta should be a little warmer. Tampa looks a lot better after a very, very cold beginning. Watch out tonight in the Tampa Bay area and Orlando. Lows could be down into the upper 20s in the cities. And some of the outlying areas could be down into the lower to mid-20s as our winds are going to die on down. We should recover some tomorrow, though. Highs back to near 60 in Jacksonville and Tallahassee, Atlanta. With a little bit of luck, we could hit 50, probably more likely the upper 40s. Cold air, though, for Chicago, Detroit, Buffalo. Temperature is about on target for this time of the year. Then moving on into Thursday and Friday, modifying a little bit back east, but generally I think the good warm air is going to be with that downsloping wind in Cheyenne and Denver and Pueblo. Texas, not too bad off. This cold air more or less delivering a glancing blow for you. There's your cold air for the northeast, and it looks like it's going to be there Friday and again on Saturday. This will have a big bearing on the weather forecast, even around Charlotte and Greenville, South Carolina. 
And back to Wednesday, still rather blustery in Philadelphia and New York. Snow showers possible, but more likely north of uh, you guys. Then Wednesday and Thursday, we have our next system dropping on down. Now, the computer models are trying to track this across the Ohio Valley, but because there's so much snow cover on the ground down into Tennessee and even extreme northern Alabama, northern Georgia, we think the track will be a little farther southbound, and because of that, we may actually see a situation where the rain turns over to snow in Huntsville and Atlanta and Greenville, back into the Charlotte area. This is going to have to be watched very carefully. We do think that eventually it's going to take that left turn, and as it does come back up the coast, it runs into the cold air. Now, it may be a little bit more of a hugger to the coast, and because of that, we may see a little more rain sometime in the period around Atlantic City and maybe over Long Island. But as that low heads up in Canada, more cold air will be dragged southward again, so more blusteriness all the way down into Florida. The West is going to stay pretty quiet. Some ball games on Sunday, I believe, in Texas and also in Pittsburgh, and the weather looks reasonably cooperative by that time. Let's show you the satellite picture now, see what's going on. You can see there's a lot of bright cloud cover offshore. This is all the function of that cold air rushing over the Gulf Stream waters, and that's a lot of showers and thunderstorms. Still this color enhanced picture from Maine down to about the Delmarva Peninsula. Beneath it, that is where there are some pretty heavy snows continuing. You can see our snow just about to abate in Philadelphia, some snow out there on the main line and around Dover and again around central Jersey, the Pine Barrens area. One more band coming through North Jersey now, moving into West Milford. The city and on the island still a pretty heavy snow, steady snow at least. This is all working slowly southeast. As far as Boston and New York go, we'll zoom in, and you can see our snow fairly steady, fairly heavy, right on the Route 1 corridor, Trenton, Princeton, up in Edison, also out there on the island. Philadelphia and Baltimore, our snow just about done with, thankfully. And Boston, down in the Cape, still some fairly steady snow, in some cases fairly heavy, snowing at the rate of about an inch every couple of hours. And some pretty heavy snowfall back in the Berkshires, out by Great Barrington, Mass. Everything here also heading southeast. Used to be just one way to get through an icy winter. Walk like a penguin. But now there's a better way. Safe Step Ice Melter. So you don't have to. Walk like a penguin. Safe Step won't harm grass, won't stain carpets, and works even below zero. Safe Step Ice Melter. Tough on ice, gentle on everything else. Pick some up today, or else you might. Walk like a penguin. Look for Safe Step Ice Melter at a store or janitorial supply distributor near you. I, I know that everybody's talking about wrinkles, but when I look in the mirror, I see gravity kicking in. Night of Olay. I cannot fight the force of nature all by myself. I could stand on my head, but that would not be very practical. <laughs> not just a wrinkle cream, Night of Olay infuses skin with replenishing moisture, firming as you sleep for more toned, resilient skin overnight. The most important thing I can do for my face. And I get to sleep right through it. A lifetime of beautiful skin, Night of Olay. The Florida forecast is sponsored by Kissimmee St. Cloud. Stay in the heart of Central Florida's famous attractions. There's your satellite picture. Let's take this picture and kind of run with it. We'll zoom in for you. There's Tampa, a little bit of cloud cover north of town up in Hernando County. The flow is pretty much from the northwest, and because of that, we are still pushing a lot of cold air southbound. By the way, this is snow cover, northern Alabama, north Georgia, and the air is coming down so fast, it's not getting a chance to modify. The wind is going to die down tonight. The air is dry as well. We're going to set up for a hard freeze. Tampa, Orlando could be in the upper 20s in both cases. Colder in outlying areas, even Miami could be down into the middle 30s. So there is a hard freeze warning out. Pretty much down towards the northern Tampa, Orlando suburbs, and a freeze warning down to about Lake Okeechobee. Sunshine a little more limited tomorrow in the Panhandle but elsewhere a lot of sunshine, so we should be recovering pretty nicely. And here are the forecast highs for tomorrow. When you go on vacation, you want to be close to the action. When you stay in Kissimmee St. Cloud, the magic of Disney World is right at your doorstep. Next door is the excitement of Disney MGM Studios. You'll find new discoveries at Epcot. Just around the corner, you'll see the wonders of SeaWorld. Hold on, you're on an amazing adventure at Universal Studios. Stay in the center of it all at an affordable price. Kissimmee St. Cloud, the best vacation value. For your free close-up guide with discount coupons, call 1-800-367-KISS.
And you could take this for your stuffy nose, this for the cough, this for the aches and pains, or you could take Comtrex. Comtrex has all the medicine you need to relieve all your major cold symptoms. So why take all these when Comtrex does it all? Know what conditions to expect when you reach your destination. Watch the business travel forecast only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. And now your local forecast. Accurate, convenient, and dependable. Only on the Weather Channel. tuned to the Weather Channel for our coverage of the blizzard of 1996. This year only less than two weeks old and we've already had a major snowstorm, a record breaker, even the greatest on record in some major cities in the northeastern United States. Let's take a look at how it looked in New York City, which has gotten clobbered with snow, Manhattan in particular, Central Park, the frozen apple, as the statues even look like they were shivering. The best way to get around has been on cross-country skis, and the folks that have those skinny skis have had a field day over the last couple of days, even in the middle of the street that might have hundreds of cars going down every five or ten minutes. And no cars, just a bunch of skiers and walkers. Into Massachusetts, a storm of a different color, maybe. We've had a lot of uh, crashing surf, some waves of five to ten feet, wind, snow, and high water. Water running two to two and a half feet above normal, so minor flooding in Cape Cod in eastern Massachusetts. Visibility a problem, too, on Cape Cod, so we've had a little bit of everything with this storm, and it's not really over on Cape Cod in Massachusetts, either. Let's take a look at some of those amazing stats right now. And the snow history. As you see, a map that has a lot of white on it, and even some purple, too. The white, meaning over a foot of snow running throughout much of Connecticut, really southern New England, into the Boston area, and all the way down to northeast Georgia, which had over a foot in the mountains. Then we got to two feet, and the North Carolina mountains. Skiers really loving it. Eastern Kentucky, two feet, up to 35 to 45 inches in some of the mountains of West Virginia. Virginia came in with a maximum of 40 inches of snow. Those are some of the mountain locations. These were real live towns where people live. Elizabeth, New Jersey, 32 inches. Philly, the biggest snowstorm on record. Dulles Airport, not quite the 27 of 1979 on President's Day. But Roanoke coming in there. LaGuardia with two feet. Now, New York City's biggest snow is just under 27 inches, so you didn't break that. 
But let's take a look at some of those 24 hour totals. Now, looking at Dulles Airport with 25, Dulles had 19 and a half inches for a 24 hour snowfall record. Philadelphia, the all time 24 hour record as well as storm record. Even Cincinnati, Ohio, with a little over a foot, comes in with an all time 24 hour record. This has been wreaking havoc with travel and the airports. Take a look at this. This does not happen often at any of these airports, but all of them at the same time, from Boston to all of the New York area airports except for Islip, uh, Dulles, Washington, D.C., down to Richmond and Philadelphia, all closed, and there has been a ripple effect of those closures. Any airports that are trying to connect with those northeast airports have had to cancel a number of flights. Aircraft suspending, have been spending the night in places they didn't expect to spend them in all over the country for a few days, and it's going to be a while before we get it all back together. On the satellite photograph, it is truly impressive. Still, low pressure off the New England coast, south of Cape Cod. The bright colors out over the water are rain and snow mixed that are falling over the Gulf Stream and getting a boost from the Gulf Stream. And we still have a little bit of action coming in from uh, the west on this particular uh, shot. With low pressure moving on up south of Cape Cod, we've got mixed precipitation east of the Cape. Now the snow is still coming down pretty hard around southern Maine and even southeast New Hampshire around Portsmouth fairly heavy snow. Boston still accumulating. Connecticut beginning to slow down and the New York metro area and Washington and Baltimore just about done. We take you back through 24 hours. You could see a superstorm unfold right here. The precipitation was falling heavily. That was snow in Pennsylvania 24 hours ago and it kind of pivots to the north-south direction, backing on into Maine where it's snowing hard in those coastal islands right now. Boston still getting a significant snow, but beginning to exit New York City slowly but surely, Philadelphia, Washington, and Baltimore. You can see some of that snow falling steadily, a darker green on the coastal islands along the coastline from Booth Bay Harbor, Maine, down to Portland, and Boston still in the thick of it. We zoom on in just a little bit to show you what's been happening from Boston, a darker green with the snow still accumulating, but Worcester seems to be breaking. Now the Berkshires get another shot of snow, and New York City getting some residuals, a little bit of an accumulation possible additional there. Philadelphia, Baltimore, Baltimore, Washington, though, goodbye, just a few flurries in the air, and now the cleanup begins. Now we're expecting three to six more inches from the main coast down to Cape Cod, eastern Connecticut, and look at that little area up around Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, a bit of a clipper-type low coming in, which will drop some light snows, maybe a little heavier by the lakes. We just about say goodbye to coastal flooding in New England, a little bit of uh, tidal overwash from the sounds in the Outer Banks, still winds gusting up to 50 miles an hour on the Outer Banks, and still those marine warnings, storm warnings north of Fenwick Island, Delaware, but it looks like a lot of that will be dropped to gale warnings as we go on in time. So the big blizzard of 96 beginning to tail over a little bit and tail down. We want to remind you that you could check our blizzard and some stats on CompuServe. It's go TWC forum, so you might want to check that out. And a lot of cold weather in Florida, and we're going to hear about that right now back to the studio. All right, Mike, thanks a lot. Again, we're watching Florida very carefully tonight. Cold air continues to head on southbound, and believe me, the air is dry. The wind is up, so it's mixing around a little bit, but I think the wind will die down tonight, and temperatures down near the surface will be very, very chilly. Looking at lows in the 20s and 30s, even the suburbs in Dade County could be down into the middle and upper 30s west of Miami, the city proper. The low exits on out. Get it out of here. New front dropping down may bring some scattered snows to parts of the eastern states tomorrow. Next couple of days, watch the cold air. It's going to sit there. Not sit pretty either. It's going to sit there, though. Friday and a Saturday may modify some by Saturday or Sunday. Snow showers Wednesday back east. Watch the next system. Chicago, you have been spared time and time again. Maybe not this go around. Friday and Saturday, the Ohio Valley, the middle Atlantic states, watch out. Even Atlanta and Charlotte we will have to watch that very carefully. Kate, I thought you were home with a bad cold. Oh, but now I feel better. Did you take Sudafed for your stuffy nose, chlortrimeton for sneezing? I only took Comtrex. Extra strength Tylenol for headache, Robitussin maximum strength for your cough? For a cold, why take all these when Comtrex does it all? Of course children's activities are included. It's an all-inclusive resort. There's all-inclusive. Or there's super-inclusive. At Super Club's Boscobel Beach, it's not just included. It's a blast. So bring the whole family. 
It's all inclusive. Or super inclusive Boscobel Beach. To book your vacation, including airfare, call the vacation store right now at 1 800 TVS 8111. Alaska weather getting back in that chill again. Looks like wind chill values today will be down near 40 below in the Fairbanks area much of the daytime. Not a whole lot of action on the weather map. We continue to find weak little lows rippling on a front. Great big low. We'll have to watch this one pretty carefully as it's coming over the international dateline and moving in towards the Gulf of Alaska the next couple of days. Let's look at the satellite picture in motion now, see what's going on. And you can see that there's not a whole lot of uh, motion out there. All right, we'll carry on. We'll find 70 at Honolulu. Temperatures should be up into the low to mid 80s later on today, 69 around the Hilo area. Now in Fairbanks, we're about 14 below zero. By the way, the average high is right around zero. The record high today is 40, the record low a mere 53 below. The good news though, the days are getting longer. We have gained five minutes, five minutes of daylight over yesterday. Five in Anchorage, kind of cloudy, and 36 and cloudy around the Juneau area. And there are your wind chill values. We'll check on a wet Europe next. It's all new. Tornadoes 1995. The year's most treacherous tornadoes. The ultimate tornado collection. Documenting one unbelievable year. Now available on cassette for the first time exclusively from the Weather Channel. Order now and you also get this one-of-a-kind tornado calendar. Both for only $22.95. Tornadoes 1995. 20 minutes of non-stop action never seen before. Feel the force of one of the most powerful twisters ever. Feel the terror of the photographers who face these deadly storms. I got oh major God. damage at the viewer. Major damage. Oh, God, that's so scary. See eyewitness video of six twisters in a row touched down at the same time. Plus a special bonus. You'll also get the official 1996 tornado calendar. Keep track of the new year and marvel at the dramatic tornado photographs for each and every month. A great gift, a value set not available in any store. Tornadoes 1995 and the tornado calendar for just $22.95. Call 1-800-626-9477. That's 1-800-626-9477. Call now. And now your local forecast. Accurate, convenient, and dependable. Only on the Weather Channel.
Gotta wake up and show our baby his first snow. Wake up to the aroma of Folgers coffee, made from mountain-grown beans for a warming welcome to the day ahead. Step by step, all brand new, this morning's just for you. There's something special about owning a John Deere. You wake up a little earlier on weekends. You skip morning coffee. And you really, really hate it when it rains. From trimmers to lawn and garden tractors, your John Deere dealer has all sorts of ways to make your work more enjoyable. For more information about John Deere lawn and garden equipment, contact your local John Deere dealer. International weather. Now, 42 minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. All right, let's check it out. We have Florida weather on deck. First off, though, we'll check on the international weather. And over down under today, we continue to find summertime at its finest. We're now a couple of weeks into summertime. There is some cloud cover, though, around Melbourne and Brisbane. Actually, Melbourne all the way up to about the Brisbane area. The outback, it's hot, and it's pretty dry, and it's pretty darn typical, too. Check out the actual highs for yesterday, above 100, out by Alice Springs, and into the 90s on the coast around Fremantle and the Perth area. Temperatures held down a bit, though, around the Perth, or I should say, Melbourne area, Sydney as well as up near Brisbane, pretty much in the 70s and low 80s. Currently missing some information on the coast, but 61 at Adelaide, 68 around Alice Springs. This is early in the day on the 9th, actually. Forecast highs for later on Tuesday, pretty much in the 90s all across the area. Actual numbers for Australia, 90 at Adelaide, cloudy 84 at Melbourne, and cloudy and 90 at Sydney. Florida weather is next. <laughs> Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1-900-WEATHER and connect. Newark Stationery, the little store with more. On our shelves or from our catalogs, we have it or we'll get it. And visit our new school shop. We have more helpful salespeople ready to give expert advice or just direct you to the right aisle. Newark Stationery services include business machine repair, special orders, one-day service on any catalog item, commercial account availability, and free delivery. Yes, Newark Stationery is the little store with more of what you're looking for. I'm Todd Collins, quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. When I was growing up, I was lucky to have a place to play ball and be with friends. From now to January 3rd, Mike Barnard will donate $100 for every car they sell to the Alex Eli Community Center. And here's a few reasons why. The Alex Eli Center provides meals for our seniors. It's a great place for kids, and they've missed it. It's amazing to see the skills by the time they reach high school. It's our chance to give back to the community $100 for every car right here at Mike Barnard Chevrolet in Newark.
watching the Weather Channel for accurate forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. Well, the temperatures are not responding to that glorious January sunshine very well today. You can see the cloud cover is kind of thin, a little bit of cloud cover on occasion up around Hernando County, north of Tampa, and also trying to come in around the Florida Bay area. But generally, a lot of sunshine, but a very cold day. Highs have been in the mid-40s in Tampa and Orlando. Area highs on average right in central Florida should be around 70. Nowhere near today, Miami, mid-50s. Average high should be in the mid-70s. Because of that, because the air is dry and the wind is going to die down tonight, the high is going to camp out right overhead. A hard freeze warning is out for the area from roughly north of Tampa to north of Orlando. There is a freeze warning, a general freeze warning, all the way down across Kissimmee, uh, that area, St. Cloud, and Pinellas County as well. Even down around South Florida could have lows into the middle and upper 30s. So once again, better safe than sorry. Bring in those tender plants. There your water temperatures. We'll be fixing the forecast highs for tomorrow shortly. Little Caesars needs a celebrity for their new stuffed crust pizza combo. They don't charge a lot, so they can't afford a big name. What do you say? Dynamite! You still got it! They don't charge a lot, so they can't afford a big name. You're perfect. Caesar's large cheese stuffed crust pizza and cheese stuffed crazy bread carried out just $8.99 or have it delivered. Delivery, delivery. This winter storm update is sponsored by Safe Step, America's leading brand of ice melter. Roadways are shut, airports are shut. Boston, down to New York, through Philadelphia, down into Washington, D.C. Call ahead, we may have some better news by around 6 o'clock, at least at Logan in Boston. But generally, some major, major delays will be had at all these area airports. And because these are such big airports, they will have a rippling effect all across the eastern half probably the entire nation to some degree, as I'm sure Atlanta and Chicago and St. Louis, some of the bigger hubs for some of the bigger airlines are going to have some rippling effect because of all the delays back east. So your best bet is to call ahead and keep on trying. I'm sure the lines are very tied up. All right, the blizzard, the epic of the 90s so far. Philadelphia, PA, just about 30 inches of snowfall. The old 24-hour record, a mere 21 inches, set back in a blizzard of February 11th and 12th of 1983. And it looks like our snow, thankfully, just about done. We can hopefully write the, uh, the will, last will and testament to this one in the Philadelphia area. Roanoke and Lynchburg, 22.2 and 20, respectively. And Cincinnati, 12.8. A couple of additions to the list. Dulles Airport in Washington, around 23, I think, and also around the Baltimore area, BWI Airport, 22, and Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, PA, up there around 20 or 21. We'll add those shortly. All right, here's some of the numbers. The New York City area really got clocked. Elizabeth, New Jersey, 32 inches. Philadelphia, 30. Washington, a Dulles Airport. There you go. That's 25. That's for the entire storm, not necessarily the 24-hour tally, but nonetheless, you kind of get the gist. New York, LaGuardia, 23. Roanoke, 22. Providence, 18. Hartford and Boston, somewhere over a foot in both cases. The storm has just been uh, catastrophic. A paralyzing, crippling blizzard. And once again, the Philadelphia record, all-time record. Washington Dulles record, an all-time record. New York, we didn't quite do it, but we came darn close. We're probably going to tally out at about 24, maybe 24 and a half inches. And that'll be probably about two inches shy of the all-time record set in the Christmas week of 1947. If you've seen some of the black and white pictures from that event, it was incredible. The snows were tallied up like two and a half feet on the level, and then the piles were like 10 or 12 feet high. This is a very, very similar situation in the New York City area. We had problems in the Carolina Piedmont. Greensboro, about nine inches. Atlanta, one to two across the area. Nashville had a couple. Even had some big snows. Dayton, Ohio, we're not depicting it here, but yet about 16 inches. And we mentioned Cincinnati, an all-time 24-hour record. Well, we can uh, wave a not-so-fond adieu to this system later on today and tonight. There is still, however, some snowfall 
being experienced in New Jersey and also southern areas of New York and also New England. Let's show you the satellite picture, see what's going on here. The low itself is right about here, just south of Montauk Point on the eastern tip of Long Island. The clouds have really built up out over the Gulf Stream. That is where the actual rain has fallen. Now, the color-enhanced image here in New Hampshire and Maine and to some degree down around the coast of New Jersey and over Long Island, that is where some of the heavier snow continues to fall. You can see the back edge, the very back edge, we hope, of our snowfall. Here it is in Poughkeepsie and over by Lake Mayapak and down into northern Jersey around West Milford, down to about Morristown and over by, say, the uh, Mendham area. And also on the shore, that's still pretty good coverage down around Monmouth County, Nassau, Suffolk County, pretty good band of snow, more snows in Providence and on up into Boston. We can zoom in on Boston. There's your snow, fairly widespread. You might have heard earlier Mike Bono saying, one hour today, we had a five-inch snowfall up on Cape Ann, up around the Gloucester area. So Gloucester and Rockport really getting blitzed. And more snows, very heavy in Boston, down the Southeast Expressway, down in the Cape. By the way, this is all snow today. Providence to Groton, down to Montauk. There's your other band out by the uh, Berkshires and the Connecticut Valley. This is all working to the Southeast. Not darn fast enough, though, moving that way at about 15 or 20 miles an hour. Let's take it back to our snowfall forecast now. Lighter snows in the lakes, some more snow back over Boston, Providence, down to about, say, Weymouth and on the Cape. Could see another three to maybe six inches. Really hard to say here. We feel fairly confident the New Jersey area may see another inch or so. That should be about it. And again, primarily on the coast. The Delmarva to the Tidewater is just about done. Maybe another dusting to about a half an inch. Watch with the onshore flow, some flooding. That coastal flood warning has been lifted for Boston and Long Island Sound. Now, the onshore flow here in the Carolinas, that's with a northwest wind hitting the western side of the Outer Banks area. Still some storm warnings for winds of 45 to 55 to 60 miles per hour from Delaware to New Hampshire. Used to be just one way to get through an icy winter. Walk like a penguin. But now there's a better way. Safe Step Ice Melter. So you don't have to. Walk like a penguin. Safe Step won't harm grass, won't stain carpets, and works even below zero. Safe Step Ice Melter. Tough on ice, gentle on everything else. Pick some up today, or else you might. Walk like a penguin. Look for Safe Step Ice Melter at a store or janitorial supply distributor near you. There's a land full of magic, not very far away. With more of everything you want to do. The adventure of a lifetime, or just a little getaway. In West Virginia, waiting just for you. Call now for your free copy of our travel guide or Ski West Virginia magazine. Ask about Homecoming 96, West Virginia's year-long celebration. Working toward the weekend? Watch the Weekend Outlook to find out what the temperatures will be and if there's a chance of rain, only on the Weather Channel. And now it's time for the Michelin Driver's Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. All right, you can see there's still some cold air across many parts of the eastern states. We're going to have to deal with that for the next few days. And nonetheless, I think that cold air is going to be with you into the early part of the weekend, and that will have a major bearing on yet another area of low pressure that's going to come sweeping out of the Rockies and then head down towards the Gulf Coast. For today, snow and blowing snow. Boston to the Cape on Route 6. The LIE probably off limits today. Last I had heard, the Parkway and the Turnpike in New Jersey were shut. A little better news on Route 13 in Maryland as our snow is starting to wind down here. Let's show you that radar view very quickly now, see what's going on. Here's South Jersey, here's the Delmarva. A little snow falling in Route 13 down through Wicomico County, but that should be dying down. And just about everything is going to start drying out from here on out. Back to our highway maps nationwide. Some snowy travel on I-15 in Montana and Idaho. Watch a little more ice and snow across the lakes down into Buffalo and Pittsburgh by Tuesday and maybe to the big cities Tuesday night. Presenting the ultimate tire for your sport utility vehicle, the Michelin LTX. Michelin's technological advances in sidewall and tread design give it a smoother, quieter ride than you might ever expect from a 4x4 tire. Yet it's rugged enough, tough enough, Michelin enough to get you through anything. The LTX series from Michelin. 
find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. No matter how much you plan, if business travel keeps you on the road or up in the air, you're probably used to the unexpected. At the Weather Channel, we know the weather can slow you down. That's why we offer the business travel forecast. Get the information you need to plan for your travel and know what conditions to expect when you reach your destination. The business travel forecast on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. Now your local forecast, accurate, convenient, and dependable, only on the Weather Channel.